Hi everybody, my name is Aaron Lang with Lang Twins Winery and Vineyards and this is Notes from the Field. I thought it would be a great opportunity to talk a little bit about whip grafting. It's uh, something that we do in the vineyard on occasion, uh, not very often, when we want to change the variety of a field without taking out the root system from the ground up. So instead of removing the whole vineyard and starting new, what we can do is take advantage of the mature root system we have here down below and graft on new budwood, which is a different variety, a new scion. So on the old vine itself, we have the rootstock, the initial graft union, and the scion, which is the variety on top of that. Now, uh, in this particular case, we cut off the Sauvignon Blanc vineyard above the rootstock. So we maintain that rootstock resistance to um, nematodes and phylloxera that may be in the soil. And we're taking advantage of a mature root system to get this vine going and growing much faster than planting a brand new young vineyard. And so we'll take this, uh, these cuttings, which are Cabernet Franc, and we'll actually whip them on top of the wood um, that, is, that we cut off with a chainsaw. Now there's a special cutting that is involved to get into the right layers of the cambium and the right layers of the, uh, of the vine to do it right. And I'm by no means a professional, but I'll have some video for you that uh, a little bit later so you guys can see the guys actually doing it. But in the very general terms, what you do is you take this, uh, this cutting and you make a cut into the wood and you uh, fuse it and graft it on top of the on top of the old Sauvignon Blanc wood. And so what happens, and hopefully, is that uh, this will heal and callus properly and actually become a part of the, the Sauvignon Blanc vine that was here before. We'll train in that new green shoot up and around and pretty soon we'll have a bilateral cordon vineyard in a matter of about a year, year and a half, and we can be producing within a year and a half to two years of, of good quality crop. Small amounts of crop at first, but, uh, but still good quality. And that's a big advantage for us because we can, um, by not having to rip out a new vineyard and by not having to disturb the soil and not having to plant a new vineyard, we're up and running much faster with a new variety that may be more appropriate for the site that we're at here today. So we're really hopeful that uh, the Cabernet Franc that we're grafting on here today is going to be um, a big part of our Lang Twins portfolio wines going forward in a couple of years. So stay tuned for that and also stay tuned for some more video on the guys actually doing the grafting, the guys that do the magic because I tell you, it's a lot more complicated than, uh, than I can do, that's for sure. But just real quick so you know what you're seeing here going forward, you'll see the guys making a cut on the side of the, of the old wood, cutting the, the, the bud wood, um, whip grafting it on top of the old, and then taping it to keep it secure, uh, and then also uh, putting this tree seal, this vine tree seal on top to seal everything up. That way that has a better chance of that graft union to callus and to, and to fuse together to ensure that we get a good whip graft job. ¿Qué es eso, amigo? Whip. Eso es en el herto, ¿verdad? Sí. Es un whip graft. ¿Qué está haciendo ahí? Sacando el injerto. Muy bien. So, ¿qué, está, ¿Qué está haciendo aquí, señor? Amarrando aquí. Amarrando el, el injerto, ¿verdad? El injerto, sí. ¿Y para qué tienes que amarrarlo? Para que pegue. Ah, muy bien. Perfecto. Gracias, ¿ah? ¿eh? ¿Y usted, señor, qué está haciendo? ¿Pintando aquí? Pintando. ¿Pintando para qué? Para que... Para que quede... Para que quede la planta, para que prenda. Ah, muy bien. Para que agarra, para que agarra vida.